Hey everybody, it's Ideas by Anna, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my review and demo of the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation and also the Coverall Pressed Powder. I have both of these in light. This one is 817 light and this one is 823 light and I have used both of these products. This one I've actually hit pan on but I wanted to show you guys just a little demo of how I use both of these products and my thoughts on them. So first things first, um, I got the Wet n Wild Cream Foundation. This was about $3.50 um, and the pressed powder was about $3.50 as well. First off, I like to put it on my hand while I put it right here like on my thumb because I always leave the house and I forget to wipe it off. So I don't want it on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to be taking just this flat brush and I'm going to just go ahead and simply apply it to my face. Now I'm going to be looking at a mirror down here so I hope that that is okay. Um, but I'm just going to be applying it onto my face like so with this Coastal Scents just flat foundation brush. This one I feel covers pretty good. Overall, I like just how easy it kind of goes on. Um, and it's not too heavy, but it's also not a light foundation, which I feel like you also might want to know before you go and pick up this foundation. I think that it has a pretty good coverage. Um, I should have done half of my face, not the other half, but you know what? I don't want to go back and redo this. Um, but I like to take it and just blend it out, make sure that I blend it into the hairline. Um, so yeah, how y'all doing? <laughs> um, I hope that you guys like these kind of videos. Just comment down below. Um, if you like videos like this. And as you guys can see compared to this side, on this side, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is just a difference on what it looks like from in person. Um, overall, this doesn't give you a extremely matte finish. I do definitely believe it is a natural to dewy finish, but with the found other part to it, what is that? pressed powder. I do believe that you can get a very matte appearance with this foundation. And I like to go in sometimes with my fingers because honestly I like using my fingers more than anything else. That to me just works the absolute best at blending things in and really just making it look as natural as possible. So I'm going to make sure that I get down my neck for the most part because I don't want to line. And I don't think y'all want it either, so just kind of go around, make sure that you get the foundation all over your face, like so. I hope that you guys can actually tell a difference. I know in person I can, and really that didn't take too long. Um, I didn't really show you the glop that I put on my hand, but I put about a normal size amount. And then now this is actually just a blush brush, but it's too fluffy for me from Coastal Scents. So I use it for powder, and I'm just going to be taking my powder. The lid fell off. I do have to say, the packaging on their pressed powders aren't the best quality, but I feel like their tube was, it was just very, I like how sleek and easy it was to use. And it's not that like bulky of packaging. And now I'm just going to be taking my Paris powder like here and just putting it all over my face. Like so. And I'm just going to do this half of my face and show you guys how it looks. I don't know. I can tell in person, but I don't know if you guys can tell the difference from side to side. I'm going to turn off my light there and maybe you guys can tell the difference from side to side side there. I'm going to go ahead and finish up with the rest of my foundation. This foundation possibly is a bit too dark for me. I do have a feeling it is, um, but it definitely would be like a nice spring summery color for me because I have had this for a while. Um, so overall, that is the foundation look that I have. I might throw on a little bit of blush on top of this. Um, I'm going to be using, I don't even know, this is just their contouring and blush, yeah, contouring 
blush and bronzer um, from e.l.f. I'm just going to be taking some of the blush and just adding that to my cheeks as so. And that would be my completed face look. So my overall thought, I like the foundation. I definitely have oily to combination skin with some dry patches. Um, but I feel like this one is very nice. It isn't over drying. Um, and it doesn't feel heavy on the face. I feel like I have foundation on, which is what you would expect with a foundation and not like a BB or a CC cream. Um, but it does leave you a dewy effect and I guess I like the porcelain look 100% I hate looking dewy or shiny or I don't even like the glow I just want to look flat okay um, and I really feel like with this cover off foundation it gives you an extra layer of coverage and I think that it looks really really nice it helps just even your face out to make it look just very matte for the most part and very I guess you could call it porcelain with a little bit of glow to it but overall, I hope that you guys like it. Um, I also want to go ahead and say, if you guys like this kind of lighting better, just let me know down in the comments below. This is just my um, normal face light that I do my makeup in. And I've noticed a lot of people use, I have foundation, it poured out of this bottle all over me. As it just did on my wrist. So that's a <laughs> okay. This video is taking up too long. I'm sorry about it. Remember to like this video and give it a thumbs up. Remember to comment down below on if you like this lighting or not and what videos you guys would like to see next. So let me know and I will see you guys next time. Remember to subscribe. Bye, you guys.